Bodies of Hamas fighters and unexploded grenades still lay about the ruins of Kfar Azat in Israel on October 18, the site of an attack by Palestinian militants, soldiers patrolled the wrecked homes and their boots crunched the debris at the site of the October 7 rampage when Hamas fighters stormed out of the Gaza Strip and invaded Israeli communities, killing civilians and soldiers and taking hundreds of captives. Kfar Azat's proximity to Gaza means the site remains a war zone, said Israeli diplomat. Joel Lyon, who visited the site on Wednesday. We still have bodies laying around, but it is a war zone, so we cannot go over in order to bring them back. There can be there, snipers. There can be also mines, we don't know what they have left there, he said. .S. President Joe Biden is visiting Israel Wednesday, a gesture that an Israel Defense Forces spokesperson called a clear message that Israel has a right to defend itself. Some 1,300 people were killed in an onslaught that shocked Israel. Graphic mobile phone footage and reports from medical and emergency services of atrocities in the towns and kibbutzes that were overrun stunned Israelis. So we cannot go over in order to, uh, to bring them back. There can be their snipers, there can be uh, also uh, mines. We don't know what they have left there. Uh, it's not clear. So. What I can say is that I think it, it sends a clear message uh, that the U.S., of course, is our ally and, and other allies who have been saying that they understand that what happened here is horrific uh, and that we have a right to defend ourselves, and um, that's what we're doing.